Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. We're going to go and throw a swerve ball here or a curve ball, whatever you want to call it. This video is about the Doncaster St Ledger, the old, oldest classic I'm told. Now what I know about horse racing, you could write on back of a second class postage stamp. I don't know, zero. Now these here know a lot about horse racing because they own about 11 horses, but it's not for me. I think it's a load of rubbish horse racing and I've got no time for it. But a lot of people are affected by the St Ledger cancelling spectators being able to watch and uh, I think it's a bit of a joke. The same one thing and they're doing another. What are this? What is this government doing for sport at the moment? What is it doing? I don't, I don't get what what's happening. I don't, I don't, I don't think they know what they're on with. There's too many chiefs, not enough Indians, or is it too many cooks spoil the broth? Nobody knows what they're doing. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing, and uh, there's a lot of unhappy people I'm told in the horse racing industry, and all these fans that have got all these hotels booked in Doncaster this week, and we're all planning to go to the races all week and I mean last year I mean, 55,000 people attended you know the, the full week that's a it's a lot of champagne drunk that in it and the industry the the hotels and the bars and all that in Doncaster depend on the St Ledger in race week but uh, I just think that the government need to get themselves get themselves sorted and get get this under control. I mean, what is happening? I mean, I've just I, I've just been somewhere this morning, and this bloke come up to me and he said, uh, "You ain't got a mask on. Stay away from me." The scaremongering people, frightening people to death, frightening people to death, and uh, I think it's a joke. They can't just say you can come to races and then just and everybody do what they're doing and then stop it because what about like i've just said all them that have booked hotels and can't get their money back and they'll get the money back from the tickets but you know people have took time off work and i think it's a joke and i think something needs to be done that matt hancock well does he know where he's on with him all these people these mps and politicians they're having meetings to talk about when they're having a meeting they've all got the noses in the troughs and nobody knows what they're doing and sport is being affected horse racing football boxing my number one sport that i love it's all becoming a bit of a joke rugby golf everything's affected so they need to get something sorted that's what that's what i think but it is what it isn't in it so i think it's a shame and i think it's a bit of a joke that they've said that all these fans can come to st ledger <laughs> and now they're saying they can't come I think it's a total joke and there's too many people too many jobs worth there's too many people at Westminster making all these decisions these politicians and they don't know what they're on with it is jobs worth comes to mind that's what it is they are jobs worth so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing but most of all keep supporting horse racing but I don't like horse racing I think it's a lot of rubbish so, but some people do, and everybody has a preference for what sport they like. But I just think it's a joke for all racing fans. But then again, all of them that are going to racing, they're only going to get drunk anyway, aren't they? So, it's not not all of them are not really hardcore racing fans. They just want to have a social gathering. It's a bit like going to an Eddie Hearn event, isn't it? Nobody actually watches boxing or knows who's uh, boxing. They just go to get drunk, don't they? So, have I got any sympathy for them? Yeah, if you pay for hotels, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, peace out. Don't have nightmares.